Hi, everybody, and welcome to another session uh, of Cujo Demos and Hacks. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at a very interesting printer hack and how malicious users can scrape your documents right off your printer without you knowing it. Right now, we're doing a network scan of an IP address that I've got externally available on my router, uh, so exposed to the internet. And this is a, a common uh, thing that's done for uh, many network printers that are exposed to the internet for use cases such as uh, point of sale printers, for example. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up a very interesting toolkit called PRET. And this toolkit is a Python script that is uh, publicly available. And it's what we're using in this particular printer hack. But uh, here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to this PostScript printer uh, through our IP address. And PRET is a shell program that stands for uh, Printer Exploitation Toolkit and allows some high-level commands to uh, capture and, uh, and, and start sending documents our way. So right now we're going to do a capture start command. And what that's going to do is all future print jobs that are going to come across this printer we've connected to, which is an HP LaserJet, uh, are going to start spooling over to this uh, PRET program for future. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the document that we're going to print. We're back on our our local network and we're going to uh, have this uh, document which we've labeled top secret in the title and the goal is here to print this uh, document as a normal user would print and we're just using this as an office document and printing to our HP uh, printer on our network. Now when we go ahead and do that unbeknownst to us what's going to happen is, is that the uh, printer exploit that we've already installed uh, on, the, uh, on the HP is going to is going to send that document back to us. So as we come over to the uh, the printer, and you'll see the uh, the Cujo is uh, just standing beside the printer on the left. Although it's this, the protections are disabled for this test, we see we have our top secret document printed, and uh, the user unsuspectingly walks away from the printer. All is good. Let's go back to our printer exploit command prompt here and see what we get. We're going to connect back up to that printer through the a remote IP address, get back into our shell, and take a look at what has been captured. So we use the captured list command, and that takes a, that cranks away. And now we're going to see um, some documents in this particular PostScript file uh, that's got some fairly good size, has been uh, just captured recently. So we're going to fetch uh, the capture here, and that's going to allow us to mirror the remote file off of the printer uh, back here uh, onto our local drive. Now we've got, gone ahead and saved the PostScript file and we can view it with a Windows program called GSView. Sure enough, we can see our top secret document with all of the details. Formatting is a little bit off, but um, you guys see the point. The, the full content of the document is exposed to us from the printer into our hacker's environment. So let's go ahead and fire up our Cujo and take a look at some of the protection mechanisms uh, Cujo will use to protect this printer from malicious actors. Uh, the, while there are multiple layers of protection, we're going to take a look at uh, one where the malicious actor's IP is here. Is, uh, this is our IP address on our hacker environment, 83.181.12.235. And we're going to find that that particular IP address is already on a a set of known vulnerable IP addresses or IP addresses that have generated malicious traffic previously. So when we fire up our printer exploit toolkit, you notice that we're having trouble now connecting to the printer. And that's because um, this is a known malicious IP. Uh, Kujo automatically stops it from connecting to our uh, printer public IP address. What you'll see on your Kujo device is a block from a potentially malicious actor and it shows you, the block shows you that the HP printer was on port 9100 uh, was the uh, victim of the potential attack that was blocked. So that's it for another uh, Kujo hack demo session. Hope you've enjoyed this printer hack and we'll talk to you very soon.